Loki was the codename for a home computer under development at Sinclair Research during the mid-1980s. The name came from the Norse god Loki, god of mischief and thieves. Loki was based on the ZX Spectrum, but intended to rival the Commodore Amiga as a games platform. Loki is sometimes confused with two earlier aborted Sinclair Research projects, the LC3 Games Console, cancelled in 1983, and the Super Spectrum, cancelled in 1982, a 68008 based home computer very similar to the Sinclair QL. Topic. Design According to an article published in Sinclair User Magazine, Loki was to have a 7 MHz Z80H CPU, a minimum of 128 kibibytes of RAM and two custom chips providing much enhanced video and audio capabilities compared to the ZX Spectrum, but with a compatibility mode. The video chip, referred to as the Rastrip, Chip would have blitter type functionality and three different modes, 512 x 256 pixels with 16 colors, 256 x 212 with 256 colors, or 256 x 212 with 64 colors and 2 bits per pixel used for blitter objects. Comprehensive peripheral support was also claimed, including MIDI, light pen, joystick and floppy disk. A version of the SuperBasic language from the Sinclair QL was to be provided in place of the old ZX Spectrum Basic and support for the CP.M operating system was also intended. On top of this, the computer would cost as little as 200 liras. Another Spectrum magazine, Crash, poured scorn on the report in Sinclair User, dismissing the design as Dreamware. In the opinion of an ex-Sinclair designer they consulted, analyzing the implied components and costs, and adding. It may be fun to dream about Loki, but the fact is that it won't appear, and nor will anything like it. This was the rationale, according to Crash technical editor Simon Goodwin. Being blessed with lots of headed typing paper and very little money, the thinkers at Sinclair were invited to make a big list of trendy computer features. That list, embellished with a few charts and tables but a noticeable lack of circuit diagrams and real detail, finally escaped into the hands of the computer press. Despite six years of agonizing experience of the difference between Sinclair specifications and reality they swallowed it whole. Technical know-how has never been a strong point in magazines that still, indeed, the same month, print Commodore 64 screenshots in their Spectrum software preview section. Topic. History When Amstrad bought out Sinclair's computer business in 1986, the project was cancelled. Martin Brennan and John Matheson, two Sinclair engineers, took the Loki technology with them and founded Flare Technology. There they worked on an abortive games console project on the Conix Multisystem, later working with Atari on the Panther and Jaguar systems. According to Jaguar developer Andrew Whitaker, two other Sinclair employees, Bruce Gordon and Alan Miles, who went on to form Miles Gordon Technology, also used some of the designs in the SAM coup. 